Okay, so I really have to learn Spanish. My knitting person just came and they, uh, I put in a request for the thermostat because it isn't cool in here, but it's also not warm. Um, it just feels like the thermostat is completely off. So I, um, I switched my thermostat. I have a smart thermostat at home that I set up on my own. Anyway, so I brought it here um, and I set it up. I need, I didn't bring my drill set so I can't drill it into the wall, but I did set up my smart thermostat and it was very challenging explaining to him what the issue was until the very last minute when I thought about Google Translate. Um, so I need to learn Spanish because at this point, it's a part of my daily life. Like it's required for me to communicate with other people and it's challenging when I can't speak to um, a lot of people actually. Like a lot of people only speak Spanish or the majority of their language is Spanish um, and their English is very small. So I need to do that, but good morning. Nonetheless, um, I've obviously left the apartment. I'm going to my coworkers to wash my clothes. I do plan on getting a washer and dryer. I don't have a washer and dryer connection. However, there are these um, washer and dryers you can connect to your sink or a water outlet um, and you can wash clothes. So I absolutely plan on doing that. Um, I think it's gonna be a form of saving money. We'll see if that comes true. Um, one thing that I am excited about is I set up my speakers um, so they're all connected or majority of them are connected to my Wi-Fi. Good morning. Um, so I just washed my face um, and I'm about to run to the grocery store. Um, there's one not too far from here. I was here last week. Oh yeah, I was there. I was here last week. So there's one not too far from here. Um, I got a granola parfait. Um, that was really good. That was really, really good. So I'm hoping that they have another one. Um, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get some salad for lunch later. Um, I have wings that I brought from um, when I went and visited my friend. Uh, we wound up going out to dinner. Um, to like pre-celebrate his birthday. So I brought wings with me, so I will be um, eating those for lunch. Um, but yeah, so the goal for today is um, go buy that food, come back, work out, make a plan of things that I want to do. Um, it's 30 minutes till 10. So um, I definitely know a lot of stuff will start opening up at 10. So I'm gonna figure out what free stuff I can do in Kansas City. Um, and I'll definitely do that. I went grocery shopping. It was expensive. It was definitely cheaper than what it would have been if I would have went out each time to eat, but it is what it is. I got a grilled chicken salad. I got a Cajun chicken salad with some crispy French crackers. This is the yogurt parfait that I was talking about. Oh my God, it's so good. I can't wait to come back from the gym and have this. Um, I got two of them because I leave tomorrow like super early. Um, so I figure why not just get breakfast for today and tomorrow. That's what I get. Oh, and just in case I was in the mood for like something hot, um, I got an egg chicken cheese burrito um, because it's 20 degrees. They didn't have any honey packets, so I did buy um, a honey that I could travel with. Uh, but I'm about to put this honey on this granola and it is going to be so good. But yeah, that's what I got. I need, um, I'm waiting for the maintenance person to come before I go to the gym because the lights on the beds don't work. Um, and I don't necessarily need the lights, not, 
I don't necessarily need the light to work, but I do need the plugs, and they don't work. So <clears throat> I'm gonna um, put this stuff away, change, take some pre-workout, and head to the gym. Worked out, washed up. Um, the museum closes at four today. It's currently 1.48. The bus is a five minute walk from here. Um, so I think the GPS is telling me that I need to leave at, the GPS is telling me that for my location, I should leave at 5.59, walk five minutes. I think I'm gonna leave at 5.55, just in case I get lost. Give me a little bit of extra time. The 201 should pick me up at 204. I need to ride six stops, so that's nine minutes. It's a four minute walk, and then I'll be at the Money Museum. So we were coming to Coles, but the parking lot is flooded. Drive through it, drive through it. Look at the car over there. That's crazy. It's like up there, wheels halfway. Look at all this water. Then the weather has not been great. Yesterday it was thunderstorm after thunderstorm. Uh, today um, it just got done from raining, and it's just very windy out. I'm gonna show you. It's just very windy. So, um, right now I'm dressed and I'm heading to the gym. Now, I need to work out um, really more of a full body workout. Um, yesterday I did not work out. I hung out with my friend Lewis all day or for the remainder of the evening before I went to sleep. But, um, I'm gonna do a, a full body workout. Um, I really wanna focus on my chest and my legs. And then I need to edit or continue editing the video, um, have dinner, and keep it pushing. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the bed to be that far. Um, I'm gonna take my pre-workout. So uh, pre-workout for me, I'm not gonna say it gives me a big boost of energy, but I will say that like maybe 30 minutes after taking it, I do get energy. Um, not necessarily jitters, but like, I don't really know how to describe the feeling. Cause I also don't wanna like scratch my skin. Um, but I don't feel like the pre-workout gives me a strong boost of energy. Maybe I need to take more than one. Um, that's something I probably should research, but this is the pre-workout that I take. And this is the protein shake that I started drinking, which is really good. They say, um, serve cold. Serving cold, <laughs> I don't know why. But it hits different. It truly hits different than um, drinking it warm. I don't want to take two pre-workouts and then I'm getting jitters. Maybe I'll take one and a half. One thing I don't like about this is how sweet and bitter it is. 
It really makes my teeth hurt. Um, and then I also feel like when I do it, dry scoop or whatever you want to call it, I just think of glows out when she coughs and all that cinnamon comes out. But <clears throat> off to the gym we go. All right, so I just left the gym. I had a good workout. I was thinking, um, because I do record a lot, and a lot of my um, a lot of my content that I record is generally on my cell phone. I don't know why it's just easier to record on my cell phone. So I was thinking that uh, maybe I'll start posting more on TikTok, uh, posting on both platforms. It sounds like a daunting task to be a hundred percent, but it makes no sense to record a whole bunch of crap and never post it or post it once a month on Instagram. Um, so yeah, and I think I'm really gonna get serious. In my mind, when I start to f um, finesse my budget, I want to get a trainer, but here's the issue. A lot of the gyms that I go to, at minimum, at minimum, have dumbbells. Um, and the highest dumbbell that they go up to is 50. So, like I follow these Instagrammers um, that go to machines, um, go to actual gyms, and they have more equipment. And I guess I feel um, a little daunted because it's just like, I don't have a leg press. How do you do a leg press with a dumbbell? Um, I do Google uh, alternatives. Um, I won't lie though. Um, I feel like I feel like when I do Google it and I do the alternative, it brings me out of the mindset of working out. So maybe I should Google the alternative before I go to the gym so that I automatically know. Um, I do really like following the reels or the videos and watching them do it. I feel like that helps me with my form. Um, I also like the loop of the music that they play. Um, so the reels, for me, the reels following somebody else's workout, I feel like it really does motivate me. Um, but I also feel like if I get a trainer, they can help me with my nutrition because I don't eat a lot, and the little that I do eat is probably not the healthiest, or the food that I'm eating is probably not going to help my body pop. Like, when I lift weights or I do the dumbbell things and uh, my veins are popping, I love that. Like, I love when my forearm has just tons of veins popping. I think that's, I think that's dope. Um, so how do I get my veins to pop consistently? Um, yeah, maybe I'll buy hand grips and grip hands. The only thing I don't want is like, I don't want calluses, I don't want rough ass hands. I want the benefit of working out, looking buff, having hands like I work in construction. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go shower. And <sighs> So it's uh, much later, but um, the view looks very nice. That's one thing I do like about uh, higher up apartments. You get to see the cityscape, the trees blowing. I wish you could see it in person because it really looks nice. And honestly, when it rains, that's also a nice view, too. Good morning. Uh, I 
work at 10 today. Um, I'm currently getting up and going to the gym. Dang, this is still rainy and gloomy day. I bet you it's cold out there. So, um, the internet, can you see that? I'm back at watching Married at First Sight. However, the internet just keeps going in and out, so I really can't watch it. Um, but maybe a lesson I'm learning today or uh, this week is to kind of get out your own way. Like when things aren't going exactly how you want them. Don't necessarily fret over it. Just get out. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, at times, I be... I be feeling not necessarily unproductive. At times, I feel... Um, I'm productive, but I'm just like, the time goes so fast. Like, I don't feel like I have enough time to complete my tasks that I want to complete. So I set up a list and um, I've been journaling. And although I feel, I, I'm seeing progress, right? Cause I'm checking things off. I'm just getting frustrated because it, it's not as fast as I want it. So when I feel like that, um, I try and get out of my hotel room, go sit downstairs in the lobby, because um, the lobby's generally brighter than your hotel room. Um, here, they have a little outdoor place, and it's I'm in Fort Myers, Florida, so it's warm here. So um, the Wi-Fi is not working. My body hurts, and I'm not sure if it just hurts from me working out. Um, or if I'm exhausted from work. Uh, if you know anything about um, the Fort Lauderdale Airport and how that's flooded and uh, how it has displaced a lot of people traveling, um, I was affected by that. And I really just, I really feel down. So um, I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna grab a bottle of water I'm gonna go outside. Hopefully the internet is better down there. Um, Cause I really do wanna watch this show. I really wanna stay in my own cocoon. Um, I'd said to myself, I wanted to work out, but I don't, I just wanna be, you know, in a freezing cold room, under the covers, watching television, eating junk. But I feel like if I do that, I'm going to get stuck into that pattern and I don't really want to do that. So, yeah, let's go downstairs. And on top of that, the sun is going down. Look at that. It was beautiful outside. Can you see the fire? Dang, there's people outside. But hopefully they can turn the fire pit on for me and I could just put my earphones in and enjoy. All right, let's go. I do want to go to the gym. I'm just not going to go to the gym. Um, I'm going to go back in my room and try and watch my show and eat dinner. Um, I just kind of call it a night. I'll wake up tomorrow early enough to 
should work out. Good morning. It is April 14th. Uh, it's almost 4 a.m. I have to catch a flight at 6. Oh. Let me tell you. I do not feel like working out. I feel like crawling back in that bed, turning the heat on, and going to sleep. Um, but I'm starting to see side effects and changes in my body, so we're going to go work out. Um, you know, last night, sorry, let me set you down. Last night, I went to the, um, I went to the fire pit to try and make myself feel better because the internet wasn't working and I just felt crappy. I just felt like, I just want to stay here, chill out, vibe out, be by myself. Um, and although it was nice getting out, sitting by the fire, breathing in fresh air, I really still felt like I'm just going to stay in, be by myself, be on my best bug, humbug, bah humbug, be on my best bah humbug. So, um, that's my alarm to get to the gym. All right. I got five minutes to brush my teeth and get to the gym. So, this is um, one of the better hotel gyms that I've been to. Is this a hot town or are these cold towns? Or cold towns? Well, that's cool. Yeah. They got a little Peloton here. A row machine. This is definitely one of the better gyms that I went to. All right. Let's get working.